The superstars were out in force. I saw a last 200 metres which defied logic and the incredible story that just keeps on delivering. This is Performance Review with The Boss. The Ranvet Stakes, very elegant. Was she disappointing? I don't think so. I just believe we underestimated Montefilia. She is now a four-time Group 1 winner. Montefilia was given a superb ride by Jason Collett. He controlled this race from the outset, which gave Very Elegant a little bit too much to do. And what does that mean for the Queen Elizabeth Stakes? I'll tell you soon. My run of the day, Animo, he was simply breathtaking. He ran a new peak of 125 in the Rose Hill Guineas. To find a better rating in a Rose Hill Guineas, you have to go back to 96. This is octagonal beating saintly. That's some sort of performance. The Queen Elizabeth Stakes. I'm so excited about this race. All the stars are on show on the weekend, and I'm gonna give you my top three. Animo, well, he just picks himself. He's simply flying this preparation. Zaki, well, he was breathtaking on the weekend. And do not write off Very Elegant. Her record at Ramwick is unbelievable. While I've given you my top three for the Queen of the Stakes, this race is so wide open. Monophilia put a hand up. Duez, think it over. Haitotsu, I could go on forever. This race is gonna be the race of the decade. The Golden Slipper, what a race. Brandon Abdullah at the half mile on Fireburn looked like he was in all sorts of trouble, but he turned what looked like certain defeat into an incredible victory. Her last 200 metres was superb. She ran 11.7 seconds on a heavy track. There were no excuses for the beaten brigade. She was simply too good. What a fairy tale story this is. Shelby 66, he was an 89 rater only four starts ago. Credit to Danny Williams, he is a gifted horseman. And to see those scenes after that race, this is what racing's all about.